Hello and happy Monday to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Emma Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday video, Pisces. Yes, yeah, so whenever you see this video is when you're supposed to see it. So I don't want you all to stress out and say, oh my God, I missed the video. No, you did not. Whenever you see it is when you're supposed to see it. This is a general reading for my Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North and South Node. If you want to know what that means, it's in the description box. If you're interested in a personal reading, there's no pressure whatsoever. But if you're interested, that information is also in the description box. My calendar, as well as pricing, is right there when you can, you know, click on that link. Hyperlink is there so you all can have it to use whenever you feel like it. Let's get into your reading. The energy has already been clear, Pisces. So let's go. Let's go, Pisces. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Somebody is balancing out their daily affairs when it comes to money. Right. We have the Two of Pentacles, the first card out of the deck. Pisces. All right. So we have the Tower card. Uh-huh. We also have the Page of Swords. We also have the Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. We have the Three, Four... Three and four of swords. So we have the page, three and four of swords, and heartbreak. All right. So we have the three of swords. So it looks like somebody is. I, I want to. I want to encourage somebody to really get your rest because right now we're at this first quarter moon in Cancer, which is one of your sister signs, Pisces. Um, and even though you all are empaths, you all are natural healers, and all these wonderful things. Something is going to really help you heal your broken heart, like really get to the root of something broken. Something may have happened to you in your childhood, Pisces, but there could be either an, an Aries or a Scorpio that's going through a really rough time in your life right now. Some, some energy that they put out in the universe is coming back to them, right? So I see a lot of you all sitting down in your meditative state really just getting your solar plexus chakras in alignment. So some kind of citrusy oil or something in your diffuser is going to really help to, it resonates with your solar plexus chakra. And also, you know, just reminding you of just how powerful you are as healers. You're the last sign in the Zodiac. Um, you are a very wise sign. You're a very compassionate sign, Pisces. So yes. And I see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. This is really going to help you to heal, getting proper sleep, knowing that you're coming to the end of a long, challenging journey. Um, there was a lot of anxiety that people couldn't even tell what you were going through, just the challenge that you were going through. You were coming, coming up with, still coming up with bright ideas, either reading or writing a book. Um, um, you had um, your ancestors around you just trying to keep a, ha a smile on your face, letting you know, hey, you're at the end of a journey. You're at the end, Pisces. You're at the end. Again, I'm talking to my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. So um, somebody's coming to the end of a journey. One of the things you want to ask yourself at the end of this challenging journey that you've been on, and for some people, it has been many, many years. I'm thinking for somebody, it was like three decades of just really going through it, just like a, um, just heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak. But all of that is coming, tumbling down. Like I see you healing your own broken heart, right? And anybody that has been saying anything negative about you, like as of recent, like people would want to keep your name out of their mouth unless it's in a high frequency way like you know i'm sorry for what i did to pisces or what i said about pisces behind pisces back i wish nothing but great things on pisces life like things like that right so we're going to keep it high vibrational because anything other than that is going to come tumbling down because you're in a very vulnerable space right now you're highly sensitive right now we're heading towards a full moon in libra and so everybody's Everybody's intuition is spiked, is really, really heightened right now. So it's, I, I keep trying to tell people, like, keep your vibrations high. Like, no matter what people did to you, try, try real hard not to put any negative energy out there about anybody or, you know, to send any bad vibes anybody's way. But like I said right now, whether you're at work, whether you're at home and your family life, whatever, you're in such a very powerful, powerful yet vulnerable position, Pisces, that 
keep your vibrations high. You don't you don't want to, you know, like I said, something something is coming to an end. Your dreams need a practical plan. With somebody in a relationship with the Taurus, or maybe you have a Taurus in your chart, in your birth chart, Pisces. But like I said, somebody could have Taurus, Scorpio, Aries somewhere in their chart, but they're not going through a good time right now. Things are just not working out for them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So get your rest because you all are in receiving mode by default anyway. And so a lot of dreams are going to come through to you uh, to let you know exactly who is going through a really rough time right now, Pisces. And again, nobody's rejoicing over somebody's going through a rough time because a lot of times you don't know why people are going through it. But apparently somebody, some people put some energy, some negative low vibrating energy out into the universe and it's coming back on them. So again, the best thing you can do, like I said, is just get near a body of water, drink water, just stay focused, keep moving forward. Do your meditation, you know, on a regular basis. It doesn't even have to be every single day. Just remember how powerful you all are. And um, like I said, I see somebody focusing on working a regular job, but also their business, like coming up with a lot of business ideas. In other words, you're just moving forward. You're just moving forward, connecting with your ancestors. It's a very pivotal point in your lives right now. We are approximately five days away. One plus four is five. We're approximately five days away from this full moon in Libra. And so as your dreams intensify, as your intuition becomes, you know, stronger and stronger and stronger, this is really, um, we're moving towards this full, uh, fully illuminated moon. So this is giving you an opportunity to take a look at your life and decide what am I going to get rid of? What am I, what, what do I want to connect more with? I see somebody connecting more with their, um, their ancestors. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is really nice. Like I said, this is a general reading. So, and this is a mon Monday motivational reading. So even if you see it on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you never know where you may be in your life where you need this motivation of just like getting your proper rest, knowing that something you could be going through is coming to an end very, very, very soon. Your ancestors are like, we are right here with you, Pisces. You don't have to go through this alone. If somebody tries to come up against you, they're going to fall. So it doesn't matter when you see the video. What matters is that you do see the video, right? When you see it and you hear it, you go like, oh my gosh, yes, right? The soul doesn't judge your desires. It works with who you are and where you are now. Yep. Then we have, I am everything I need. Who is I am? Right? Source, right? Source is everything that I need. I am everything I need. That's right. Because that's what's happening with you right now. You are divinely protected, Pisces. So, even in your sensitivity where you may feel like you're overwhelmed right now with things because so much information is starting to come through. Again, you're in a very vulnerable space, but also some of that information is coming through just to share, just to show you, what do I need to leave in that last cycle moving forward into this new phase, right? Whatever you decide to leave behind, you got to be okay with what you leave behind. This is not for you to second guess or wonder, did I make the right decision? Yes. Whatever you leave in your past is the right decision for you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.